I just got a yacht. Would you like to see it? You just bought a boat. Oh yeah, I just finished this thing up. It made a, my first payment on it. Wizard has, are you kidding? No, Wizard. Yes. We're yachting. We are yachting. You're kidding me. Did you guys know about this? Oh yeah, yes. oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I'm out here every other weekend. Wizard! Welcome to Hoovy's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube. And I am skipping like Stradman because I want to be like Stradman with my Lamborghini Murcielago. After five or six long months, the wizard has told me it is finally finished, it is ready for me to test drive, and I can't wait. Five long months, many, many thousands of dollars. And now, I think we're at the light at the end of the tunnel. Maybe, maybe. Let's go see the wizard. Wizard! Yes, Wi Wizard? Wizard? There you are. I'm the bubble boy. You're in the bubble. I guess... I, I can't shake your hand, so that'll have yeah, to do. The I, uh... do the Vulcan. So you have the key? Yeah, I have the key right here. Okay. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Uh, no, 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 no. Pay, you gotta pay the bill first. The bill? The bill? <laughs> okay. Uh... You, you gotta get that paid before we give you the key. Uh... Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Are you all right over there? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I can't get I'm, you to... Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello, wizard. Should I call 911? No, don't call 911. $5,000. Yes, that's actually pretty cheap for that. <laughs> I guess. The clutch, yes. Rear main seal. Trans oil, serpentine belt. Thermostat seal, because that coolant spewed all over you yeah. when we were starting it the other day. Yep. Uh, installing the transmission, $3,300. Wow. <laughs> Okay, and then our potentiometer problem with the transmission cutting holes was four hundred eighty dollars. Calibrating the side vents, the bat wings work again, huh? Yeah, they work again. Okay, and the airbag warning light is diagnosed but not fixed. Yes, it is the steering wheel airbag or the clock spring, one of those two. Okay, so that's not still not done yet. And shop, one hundred twenty-five dollars for shop supplies? Oh yeah. What are you, what are you doing in here? Yeah. <laughs> one hundred twenty-five dollars. Okay, so it's done. Um, do you take uh, payments? It's actually been a minute since I melted the old American Express. Okay, can I have the key now? Not yet. <laughs> Payment hasn't gone through yet. <laughs> so here's your card, here's your receipt that you need to sign. Thank you. All right. And make sure you don't exceed 4,500 RPMs. There's a break-in period for the clutch. 500 I, miles, you gotta take it easy on it. So I can't drive this thing hard for 500 miles? 500 miles, that's wow. right. Okay. Or avoid uh, your warranty otherwise. All right, and then if the clutch feels, because you can adjust it, right? Yeah, if if there's any adjustments you wanna make to make it softer or firmer, we can do that with the PIS adjustment, so. Okay, well, I will drive it and let you know. I can, I shake your hand, or but I guess we can do this. Yes. Okay, wizard. All right, <laughs> okay. the keys? Now you can have the keys. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Yes. Still have a lot of work to do uh, cosmetics wise. It is very dirty, these seats. My creamsicle interior has had a few uh, Taco Tuesday aftermaths, but uh, I don't care right now. And let's start her up. Oh, <laughs> the immobilizer. There we go. And let's try this again. Yes! Yes! So when I bought this Mercy Lago from Ed Bullion, who truly negotiated it to me, uh, it had a failing clutch and a totally failed transmission, making it almost undrivable. So I really don't know what this thing drives like, <laughs> but it moves. So I put it in first and already there would be a horrible noise coming from the transmission. And then once you shift to second, it was okay. Uh, but then the clutch would slip on the highway whenever you would get on it a little bit. But now, it's quiet. <laughs> Except when you get on it. Oh my goodness. It's fixed. It's actually fixed. <laughs> yes! 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 Oh, okay. Downshift. Oh, downshift. Yeah. I got a. 4,500 RPM. Oh, yes. I gotta play with this transmission a little bit, see if it's too jerky. All right, we'll do a harder launch. Not at all. It's perfect. Wizard. 
How did it do? You wonderful, wonderful man. Put your face right here. I can barely see you in there. Here, let me, let me just. What the? There, there you go. Ah. It's a barrier. How did it do? It, it is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Really, honestly, uh, I, I wouldn't change the clutch, okay. whatever thing at all. So we'll just leave it like it is. Then. It engages firm, but not too firm. It doesn't jerk. The engine runs perfectly. Amazing. The air's cold. It's it's ready to go. It's ready to rock and roll. So I'm thinking, wizard, why don't we just knock out this 500 miles just just like right away? Like you can meet me tomorrow. We can go 500 miles. We can get out the other Lambo and just do a running of the bulls. Just that sounds just good to just me. do it. But yeah. I we can knock it out. Been busy in the shop. I need a little break. Yes, that'll be fun. So tomorrow noon. Let's do it. Okay, sweet. Welcome to the bull run. Actually, I think that was a TV show, Goldberg, something like that. But uh, I wanted to drive both Lamborghinis because I want to show this Lamborghini how a Lamborghini should act. Because this 2004 Gallardo has been almost flawless for the last year. It has been a perfect car, I, uh, knock on wood somewhere. And I really hope that rubs off on the Murcielago now that it's fixed. If you told me five years ago that I would have two Lamborghinis and Aston Martin, among other things, I would say, you're crazy. But... Uh, just a really lucky guy. They're all because of you guys watching, so I really appreciate that. But just to recap, I bought this Murcielago for $76,000 plus Ed Bullion's very uh, generous uh, finder's fee, and then I had to buy a used transmission for it, which I think was around $6,000, and a clutch for it, which was another $3,000, and then the wizard's bill was $5,500. I also put new rear tires on the back, and that was around, uh, well, I think about six or eight hundred dollars. So uh, here we are. We are somewhere close to over a hundred thousand dollars. Still less than what I have into the Gallardo, interestingly, for a V12 Mercy Lago Roadster. So that's that's pretty good. But now is the real test. So I have brought uh, the Wizard. He's at my house. Wizard. This is like the. It's like the ending scene of a uh, Vegas vacation when Papa Giorgio went, won all the cars. So you get the blue one. Oh, the blue one. Yes. Oh, boy. And the reason I have the Aston Martin out is because Magic Mike is joining us as well. The wizard's mechanic, uh, not really your nurse. He's like a fellow doctor, right? Yeah, pretty much. Um, I want to drive this thing with the top off, but I don't want to go to all the trouble of taking the top all apart to fit in the front boot. So uh, we'll haul it in the back of the Rapide because it's a, well, it's a hatchback. So... There's the Rapide key. Nice shirt. Thank you very much. And I will take orange. Yes, and we have some friends joining us. Awesome. All right, let's roll. How's the old guy Arda running? Wonderful. I love the sound. It reminds me of my S6 that I had. Very similar sound, of course, it came from that. was kind of an insult that it sounds like an Audi, but I guess it is. <laughs> Aston? Love good? it. Good. Love it. So, the car Trek Ferrari. SL600. Dodge Viper in green. And a DB9. Hello. <laughs> Chances are one of them won't make it. Oh, yeah, wait, this, this roof? The very first interaction on camera. Where's the cellophane so we can get a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> no. Six feet. Six feet, yes. Well, cellophane, that'll take See, care of that. See, yeah. they, they don't hate each other. They're actually friends. No hate. No. So are we ready to run the bulls? I think all the cars started. How about that? Never good when the car is steaming like that. Hmm. Well, we're at the halfway point. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. I was just cruising like normal SL owner, but uh, it's not mine. But it's not your car. Yeah, <laughs> it's Bob's car. Bob, what's your car doing? <laughs> I know nothing. I promise. I was just cruising like the rest of us, and it just got a little warm. 
German reliability. Well, a halfway point wizard in the Lamborghini is flawless. It's doing excellent. It's wonderful. We'll have to let that Mercedes cool off for a little while, though. Yeah, that uh, thing's car started steaming. I seen a little steam coming out of it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's too bad. We're actually not too far from where my yacht is parked. I just got a yacht. Would you like to see it? You just bought a boat. Oh, yeah. I just finished this thing up. It made a, my first payment on it. Wizard has... Are you kidding? No. <laughs> this isn't what I think it is, is it? The Cobalt 343. You say it's a Cobalt 343? That's exactly what it is. You know how rare these are? Well, there's one here. This is... It is a Cobalt 343. It is. This is my dream boat. And it's here. It's mine. It's my literal dream boat. I bought it. They made these only for like a few years in 2007, 2008. Right. Does they have the 496s in it? Yes, two of them. Oh my god. <laughs> All these years you're joking about having a yacht and now it's... Oh, wizard. It's... Oh, 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 wizard. This is unbelievable. How is it unbelievable? It's right before your eyes. <laughs> The 343. So Cobalt's kind of like the Rolls-Royce of boats, or pretty close to it, but they're made in Neodice, Kansas, in Kansas, mm -hmm. and they're usually ski boats or cabin cruisers, not stuff made to go fast, but the 343 is the exception. For a few years, they wanted to build something that could really move. It does. And uh, still ride like a, a Rolls-Royce, and uh, this is incredible. 70 miles an hour. Yeah, let's see the engines, wizard. Big 496s, there's two, there's one oh over there. Oh my Can I open goodness. That one? You've got to be kidding me. Big boys. That is crazy. Oh. Chevy so, power. So, shall we take her out to sea, Mr. Murdoch? Let's do it. Wizard? Yes. We're yachting. We are yachting. You're kidding me. Did you guys know about this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm out here every other weekend. Wizard! Flabbergasted. Are you? Yes. I thought you would be. I, we were so close to it, I thought, you've got to see this thing. I, I guess so. We're going into the party cove where I know there's some uh, cliffs to jump off of, right? Right, there is. I think we should do a mechanic diving contest. Where's Ninja? Oh, here. Are you a good diver? Yeah. Are you a good diver? Yes. Not a diver. I'll just get ready. Uh, okay, he's training. So Johnny, yes. you're fearless, right? Uh, yeah, apparently not. <laughs> I was going to do scores and give Wizard a 5 out of 10, but then you didn't even jump, so... I got a 10 out of a 10. <laughs> you're 11 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Default win. But uh, <laughs> what's going on over here, Wizard? It's an abandoned house, an abandoned dock there. Have you ever been inside? No. Maybe we should do some urban exploration, huh? Look at this cobalt. Oh my god. Don't you like my boat? <laughs> yes, wizard, I love your boat. So it looks like the garage doors just rotted off, huh? Looks like a storm knocked them off. Yeah. What's that boat registration say, Elliot? Uh, 2003. 2003. 17 years ago. Wow. Wow. Uh huh. That is wild. Oh, there's a cool boat up there. IMP, that's another boat that was made in Kansas. You have an upper body strength, Elliot? I have some. Can you pull yourself up? Yeah, and then I have to pull you up. Oh, that was graceful. That is sexy. Classy. Here we go. Got oh, some crack. Okay, here we go. Take this. And underneath the dust, it's actually in really nice shape. No dead bodies? No. So when's the last time this thing was on the water? 2003, once again. This is, this is so weird. It's like it hasn't been touched in almost 20 years. And look at this boat. Holy moly. 
You know what this is? It's an old jet boat. They put like a big Ford 351 or 302 in it, and then it's run by a jet. Let's see what it was last registered. 2000. 20 years. 20 years this thing's been floating. Unmoved. Yeah, it's got the metallic fiberglass paint on it, like the 70s. Like your, like your Lambo. Look at the diamond tuck interior. It is kind of like my Lambo. Maybe the wizard, can we save this boat? If you can get it out of there. So it's like somebody just walked out of this place 20 years ago, just just left it as is. Yeah. I assume there's a house up there, right? Yeah, it's Gotta all boarded be. up. Should we do more urbexing? That should be next oh, on the oh, tour. Yeah, we should. Yes. I'm not heavy breathing for dramatic effect. I'm just out of shape. Ow. So we have a camper and then a cabin. This definitely looks like the Unabomber's slightly larger home. They definitely reinforced it though. They didn't want anybody squatting in here. Huh. But the bars make it really creepy. Yeah? Creepy? Oh, creepy. All right, we should go. Oh, we should go. You can peek in this window. Yeah, I can't really see anything. The Blair Witch is gonna come. You need to come back up here at night. No, 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 oh, yeah, I'm going, is. we're done. I'm going. I'm going. Let's go back to Wizard's Yacht. Wizard, that boat. Isn't it amazing? It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It is. Well, that's an incredible boat and an incredible dock and a, a beautiful house, Wizard. Yeah, Whose house is this? Well, I don't own it outright. Me and Ninja went in half and half seas on it. You guys went in half on a lake house? Yeah. I'm gonna go check on Bob. This is ridiculous. So what's the story here, Bob? I don't know. Oh, look at it, it's just pouring out. Ah. Uh, I think you have a coolant leak. Yeah. Fortunately, it's a little tight on these V12s, not a lot of room to see what's going on. No, I mean, I think it's just some coolant line at the back of the engine. So it's safe to say, uh, that's not making it back. I'm gonna put the top on the Mercy, just, just the sun. See what it feels like on the ride home. Maybe it's not that bad. It's okay. ugly though, the toupee. Yeah, it looks like a toupee, it does. Oh yeah, that takes one of the most beautiful cars ever and makes it almost hideous. I guess it's not as bad as a Viper. Well, there's a little drippy drip, Wizard. A very small drip, yes. You said the transmission has a little leak on a seal somewhere? Yeah, it's a, actually a, a gasket, a little access panel. We'll have to get that removed and replaced. But the transmission doesn't have to come out? No. You don't have to cut holes? No, no holes. Oh, good. Oh, wonderful. actually be good. It's reasonably quiet in the car. It's not flapping, it's not rattling. It actually holds really well. So while it is slightly more difficult to put on, I like it better than say the 360's top because I know it'll always work where the 360 top was all finicky. So overall, great. I, I, I can't believe how well this Mercy Longo is doing. It's, it's, it's incredible. Well, I spoke too soon. The top is now Come loose. That back snapped a little weak. Uh, have to pull over and fix it. Oh well. Wizard, I am so proud of this Mercy Lago, and I'm proud of you. You, uh, you fixed it. It was a real trooper. Yeah, there was only one scary moment, and that's when the. Uh, Hairpiece flew off like Donald Trump in the wind, and oh, yeah, flat, flat, flat <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that was a quick fix. Other than that, uh, zero trouble. Great. So, more of the story. If you're going to take a road trip with friends, uh, drive a Lamborghini or an Aston Martin, and not a Mercedes. Thank you for watching. <laughs>